when, when I was a kid, I was wondering kind of what's the meaning of life? Like, why are we here? What's it all about? And um, I came to the conclusion that uh, what, what really matters is trying to understand the right questions to ask. And th the more that we can increase the scope and scale of uh, human consciousness, the better we are able to ask these questions. And so, so I think that there are certain things that are necessary to ensure that the future is good. Um, and uh, some of those things are in the long term having long term sustainable transport and sustainable energy generation. Um, and uh, to be a space bearing civilization and for humanity to be out there among the stars and be a multi planetary uh, species. Um, I mean, I think the being a multi-planet species and being out there among the stars is important for uh, the long-term survival of humanity and uh, that's one reason, kind of like life insurance for life collectively, life as we know it. Um, but then the part that I find personally most motivating is that it creates a sense of adventure and it makes people excited about the future. Um, and if you consider two futures, one where uh, we are forever confined to Earth until eventually something terrible happens, or another future where we are out there on many planets, maybe even going beyond the solar system. Um, I think that second version is incredibly exciting and inspiring, and there need to be reasons to get up in the morning. You know, life can't just be about solving problems. Otherwise, what's the point? There's got to be things that people find inspiring um, and make life worth living. I think it's important to have a future that is inspiring and appealing. I mean, I just think that there, like, there have to be reasons that you get up in the morning and you want to live. Like, why do you want to live? What, what's the point? What, what inspires you? What, what do you love about the future? And if, if we're not out there, if the future does not include being out there among the stars uh, and being a multi-planet species, I find that, in, that it's incredibly depressing if that's not the future that we're going to have. If you look at, the, uh, at the, the progress in space, in 1969, we were able to send somebody to the moon. 1969. Mm. Um, then we had the, the space shuttle. The space shuttle could only take people to low Earth orbit. Mm. Then the space shuttle retired, and the United States could take no one to orbit. So that's the trend. The trend is like down to nothing. Who are mistaken when? They think that technology just automatically improves. It does not automatically improve. It, it only improves if a lot of people work very hard to make it better. But I want to be clear, I, like, I'm not trying to be anyone's savior. Uh, that is not the, the I, I'm just, just trying to think about the future and not be sad. Beautiful statement.